I'm kind of excited because I've only got five games left in this season. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and although I do have fun doing this series, I am looking forward to having a little bit of a break. Speaking of the number five, Scott Lord has won five games, and he's looking not to become the fifth player in a row to sweep a week and then lose the following Monday. Once again, for the third time, he's going to need a little help. He's got 8,000. Suzanne, and having that $1,200 blue at the end of Double Jeopardy, putting Luke out of contention because Scott and Suzanne are now separated by 4,800, which is more than Luke has. And it's pretty easy to see that Scott does not have two-thirds of Suzanne's score. If Suzanne had 12,000, that would work out for him. So very straightforward here tonight. 16,000, that's going to be a difference of 3,200. So Suzanne needs to wager 3,201. Scott's going to need to wager everything. If Luke doubles up to 8,000, so to stay above that, Suzanne can wager up to 4,800. Tough break for Scott here. Sherazade, which every time I think of the Thousand and One Nights, I think of the genie song in Aladdin. Alibaba had them 40 thieves. Sherazade had a thousand tales. And it does sound like Sherazade. Shaharazadi. One syllable. One wager. With our last five timer, Brandon Bushy. Something of a curse here with the five time champs, just like with the four time champs, almost all of them this season have won their fifth game. Tales from Beyond. Ooh, I guess I'll be spending the six weeks of summer break considering those. Questions. Oh, one down, four to go, and uh, we'll see how our new champ fares tomorrow. And I just completely missed the camera. We'll see you then on the final wager.